Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to help you pick the best location to set up a new greenhouse. You want at least six to eight hours of direct sunlight. So you might want to walk around in the morning and take a look at sunny areas and around midday. Those are the most important times you want direct sun. In the morning it'll warm your plants right up and the daytime will really fuel them. Evening sun is always good too, but it's not as important. I would love to set up the greenhouse directly in the vegetable garden as it gets the most amount of sun, but it is very windy and it's on a hillside. It might seem strange, but the best location is right under the deck. You can see it's getting great sun midday, and it even gets direct sun in the mornings as it's kind of facing east. And the trees don't have leaves yet, so they don't really get in the way too much. Because of the sun's low angle in winter and early spring, you can actually get away with protecting your greenhouse under an awning. This location is really well protected against any snowfall that we may get, which is fairly common here in Minnesota in spring. It's also very close to the house, which acts as a nice wind buffer. The wind blows in from off the pond and barrels through the garden. So it actually avoids this corner because of the house. Now that we've picked our location, we want to get it as level as possible. So for me, that means moving these rocks from the uphill side to the downhill side until we have a flat area of about six feet by six feet, which is the exact dimensions of our greenhouse. I think that's about as flat as we're going to get it. And you may need to just use blocks of wood or something to elevate one end if you are just on a slight slope. Otherwise your plants are going to slide all over the place. Now the setup itself can actually be pretty fun. They're usually pretty simple, like one of those old tents with a lot of poles and connectors. And the building process goes a lot quicker if you're organized. Right now we're going to start with step one. And these joints are all labeled with letters, and then the poles are labeled with numbers. So there you can see the D, and with the flat side down, we'll put a three in the vertical, a four on this side, and a two on this side. So just like this, we'll build our frame piece by piece. This side is facing south, so this is gonna get the most sun. So I've actually lined it up so that our shelves are on either side. If I were to put the shelves like this, this back shelf facing south would get tons of sun and this side would just be in shade all day. So make sure to plan out where it's gonna sit, where your door is gonna be. Ours is gonna be at the back over here. And now we can just start building up. Now you do want to watch out for wind. Until this is tied and anchored, it's really vulnerable to wind gusts. So I'm going to try my best to close these gaps and then seal them off. And I usually do that from the outside. I'll cover it with rocks or with sticks or leaves or whatever I've got. Sandbags would be really great. That just seals the outside edge to keep in heat, but also to keep out wind. Once wind finds its way in a gap like this, it really can't go out the same way, so it has to push its way out somewhere else. 
and that could lead to the entire greenhouse film flying away. So really we want to anchor it as well as we can. And for me that means buckets full of water in the four corners. I also add heavy pots to the bottom. Even if a gust of wind does kind of pick it up for a second, it'll fall right back down. Whereas stakes, once they pull out of the ground, they're pretty much useless. And here's an example of how I'm going to insulate these edges. First we want to pull down as far as we can. So I'm going to use some dried leaves, pile them up thick. And then really using whatever I can. In this case I've got a big steel bar. And this side was really the worst. So I've got logs, leaves, and a metal pole anchoring the leaves. It may not look pretty, but with all these methods combined, we should get our greenhouse to stay put. Because I had it available, I filled my buckets full of snow. And this is really heavy, wet, late winter snow. And as it melts, I'll just top off the buckets with water. And with 100 degree temperatures, I think it'll melt pretty quick. And right now it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So with the sunrise at about 7, we should get at least 9 or 10 hours of pretty much full sun. And that is perfect. We have all the outside edges insulated. It's nice and level so our plants aren't going to slide around. And just look at how well protected that is. It's got a buffer from the wind, from the sunroom up top and the house as a whole. It's also covered from snow, and I really think we picked the perfect location for this greenhouse. So I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.